Analysis of satellite images can do wonders when it comes to assessing wildfires. In this video, we'll explore how we use remote sensing to estimate risk of wildfires over time, developing tools to track them as it happens, and monitor extent of damage and recovery process. A good place to start to assess the risk is historical wildfires. Ideally, every local government has built its own granular database, but that is not the case. That's why we use historical satellite images year over year to build databases for clients. Wildfires leave obvious marks on land that can be detected with visible light. However, short and medium range infrared is a better tool, particularly because it's not easily blocked by clouds. The spatial scale and time horizon over many years makes algorithms much better than the human eye. That's why we use machine learning algorithms to classify burnt areas year over year. Taking into account historical events, we need to assess the risk in real time. Like any other type of fire, the most essential factor to start a wildfire is fuel, live or dead dense vegetation that is not sparse, and is not always moist. Even in areas prone to wildfire, not all locations are the same. Using time series of satellite images, we assess three factors. How much biomass is available in the form of live vegetation? how much dead biomass is on the ground, and how much moisture exists in plants. On top of that, we add temperature and precipitation patterns to build a real-time risk factor for wildfire using our climate risk and machine learning models. Satellites are critically important for tracking the expansion and subsequent control of wildfires. There are a number of constellations useful for this task, for example, Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite, Visible Infrared Imaging Radiometer Suite, or Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectra Radiometer. When needed, we tap into multiple image resources to provide firefighters and local communities the intelligence needed on direction and scale of wildfires to minimize potential damage. Wildfires inevitably happen, that's how nature works. After the event, it's a question of how long does it take for the landscape to recover. While satellites cannot see repopulation of birds or insects, they can assess the speed of vegetation regrowth. Here is an example of regrowth of vegetation in three years time frame after the wildfire. Are you concerned about wildfires in your area? Don't wait for disaster to strike, Take proactive steps to assess and mitigate wildfire risk today. Contact us at info at for a comprehensive wildfire risk assessment and access to cutting-edge solutions.